the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. These 14 steps that you are now about to walk, you do not take alone. I walk with you. Though you are you and I am I, yet we are truly one, one Christ. And therefore, my way of the cross 2,000 years ago and your way now are also one. But note this difference. My life was incomplete until I crowned it by my death. Your 14 steps will only be complete when you have crowned them by your life. At the cross, her station keeping stood the to Jesus to the last. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It is an unfair conviction. Pilate knew Jesus was innocent, but he went along with the crowd how often do we go along with the crowd? How often do we make bad decisions? But we may think, I would never judge Jesus unfairly, yet we do. Every time we judge another person, we judge Jesus, because Jesus lives in all of us. We condemn Jesus when we gossip or when we decide another person is not good enough. We are as bad as Pilate when we judge another person because we never knew the full story. Dear Jesus, I am so sorry you were falsely accused and had to suffer. I am sorry for all the times my own bad judgment caused someone to suffer. Please help me to make good decisions. Help me remember that when I am judging, or criticizing someone else, I am judging you alive in them. Through her heart, his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The second station. Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. We all have crosses to carry. Maybe it is social pressure. Maybe it is work, study, or home care. Maybe it is the responsibility for someone who is sick or weak. We may think our cross is too heavy we may think we would just like to trade our responsibility or our cross with someone else, with someone who has a cross to bear, with someone we think has an easier, better life than ours, but everyone has a cross to bear, even Jesus. Sometimes we are just so busy feeling sorry for ourselves that we do not see the burden someone else is carrying. Dear Jesus, please help me to be better at carrying the responsibilities and crosses that you have assigned to me. When I am tempted to complain, remind me the terrible cross you carried for me. Help me also to be sensitive to the responsibilities and those around me must carry. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It's embarrassing to trip 
and fall. We try to get up as quickly as we can. We hope that no one saw us. We might try to pretend it didn't happen. But worse than the embarrassment of a physical fall is to be so proud that we pretend we did not do something wrong. We need to apologize for what we did. By falling and getting up again, Jesus shows us we can go on even after a bad mistake. Dear Jesus, please help me not to fall into bad habits of sin. When I do something that is wrong, help me to admit my mistake. Help me to learn how to say I am sorry. Please don't let me be so proud that I think I am perfect and everything I do is good. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. When we really love someone, we stand by them no matter what. If we cannot be with them, we think about them or pray for them. Mary had that kind of great love for Jesus. She was standing right by the cross when Jesus died. And Jesus said to her, woman, behold your son. With those words, he asked Mary to love all of us, just like she loved her son, Jesus. And he asked all of us to love Mary, just as if she was our own mother. Dear Mary, you love Jesus so much, how it must have hurt you to see him suffer and die. Thank you for loving me, just like I was your own child. Help me to remember to come to you when I am sad or lonely or scared. I know you will always be there for me. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in miseries so deep? Christ, dear mother. The fifth station, Simon helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Poor Jesus had been up all night. He had been whipped. He was exhausted beyond belief. He needed help. Surely God could have sent an invisible angel to help carry the heavy cross, and no one would have known. But it is important to remember Jesus did accept help from another man, because we all need help. We cannot get to heaven alone. We need each other. And like Jesus, we need to be humble enough to accept the help that is offered. Dear Jesus, sometimes I want to get all the credit, or I want to be in charge. I do not want anyone else to help me. I think I can do it by myself. But you might and work together in families and communities. Help me be better at accepting help and also offering to help others. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain in that mother's pain untold? 
the sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. While others were making fun of Jesus, Veronica courageously stepped forward to wipe the sweat and blood from his face. Legend says the image of our Lord's ravaged face was forever stamped upon this kind woman's veil. It is true that when we are kind to someone else, it can leave a permanent mark on them and also on us. We may remember the smile of the person for whom we held the door, which made our whole day better. We may become great friends with a neighbor we helped. Dear Jesus, please help me to become kinder and more compassionate to all those I meet today, both in and outside my family. Help me to see your face in those who need a helping hand or a simple smile. Just as Veronica's veil was marked, let my heart be marked by the good things I do. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Wouldn't it have been easier for Jesus when he fell the second time to just die there in the street before they could nail him to a cross? But even knowing what he faced, Jesus got up. That took great courage. Courage doesn't mean we are not afraid. It means we do what we are supposed to do, even when we are afraid. When Jesus got up after the second fall, he showed us exactly what courage meant. Dear Lord, please give me courage when I am afraid. Help me to step up and do the right things. Help me to know that you are always walking with me. Please take my hand, even when I fall, and show me how to be brave. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. The eighth station Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In the midst of his own pain and suffering, Jesus stops to talk to some women who are crying. They are sad that Jesus is going to die. We learn two important lessons from this quick minute. Jesus spends with the weeping women. First, Jesus cares whenever we are sad. He has a very special place in his heart for people who are mourning. If we just go to Jesus, go to Jesus, he will help make us feel better. Second, by his example, Jesus shows us how important it is for us to stop and help anyone who is sad or crying. Dear Jesus, sometimes I do not know what to do when a person is upset or grieving, so I just turn away. But you did not turn away from the crying woman. Please help me know what to say and how to help the people in my life who are sad right now. Oh, thou mother, fun. 
The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now Jesus is truly exhausted. He is tired beyond anything we have ever known. We all have days when we just want to pull the covers over our heads and not even get out of bed. Jesus shows us we have to go on. We have to get up day after day and do things that are required of us. Just like Jesus, we have to stay committed to the work, whatever it may be, that God is asking us to do in our lives. Dear Lord, Forgive me for the times when I just get tired of my duties and responsibilities at home, school, or work. Forgive me for the times I want to lay down and do nothing. Please give me strength to get up and do what you are calling me to do, just like you got up with that heavy cross on your shoulders. Make me feel as thou hast felt. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Clothes are very important to us. They can make us feel warm. They can help us feel special. But sometimes we put too much emphasis on clothes or other things we have. None of those things are as important as who we are before God. Even after they stripped Jesus of his clothes, he was still God. Fortunately, he has not stripped us of all that we own. He has given us many good blessings, but sometimes when we keep wanting more and more for ourselves, we can strip others of what they need. Do we know how to be both grateful and generous? Dear Lord, thank you for the warm clothes and good things I have. Help me to realize that everything I have is a gift from you. Show me how you want me to share my blessings with others so they have enough to be warm and safe like me. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Have you ever gotten a shot with a needle? Even that little metal needle can hurt. Imagine how the big, sharp nails felt going through our Lord's hands and feet. Just as we trust the doctor or nurse, Jesus trusted his heavenly Father. Dying in agony, Jesus prayed, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. This is a prayer of total trust. With these words, Jesus showed us we too 
must believe God will make everything turn out right. When we trust God, we can relax and surrender. Dear God, please help me to trust you more. Sometimes I think I am in charge of everything. I worry too much, or I take too much credit. Help me remember that even when things seem bad, you are able to make it all be okay. Help me just trust in you. Let me share with thee his pain, who for all my sins was slain. The twelfth station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Some people may wonder why Jesus did not fly off the cross like a superhero with fireworks, angels and music all around. Then everyone would have believed he was truly God but God wanted us to have a choice. He does not just drop the gift of faith in our laps and demand, here, you must have this. Instead, faith comes wrapped in messy layers of grief, sadness, crosses, nails, thorns, and even death. Faith is a decision each of us must make. We must decide that, yes, in the darkest night, God can raise in our hearts and glow with the brilliance of an everlasting love. Dear Jesus, I believe you are the Son of God. Thank you for the great gift of faith. May I never forget you are always there for me alive in my heart, in my family, and in the goodness of the world. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. All the days that I may The thirteenth station, Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The whole world is silent now. The shouting crowds and crying women are gone. All of creation whispers, what have we done? Through lies and screams, the Son of God has been killed. In our own time, we too need to stop and be silent. It is often only in stillness that any of us realize what mistakes we have made. But our world is so noisy today that we do not take time to be quiet and alone with God. So we just keep doing the same wrong, stupid things. We need to come to God in silence, for that is where he hides. Dear Jesus, help me shut out the noise of our world. Help me put down the phone, turn off the video, and simply be quiet and alone with you. Then whisper in my soul how I can do better. Remind me that when I hurt others, I am hurting you, because you quietly live in all of us. By the cross with thee to stay, there with thee to weep,
the fourteenth station. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The lifeless body of Jesus is laid in a cold, dark tomb, and a huge stone is rolled in front of the entrance. All seems lifeless and over, but God can change things. On Holy Thursday, he showed us he could change plain bread and wine into the sacred body and blood of Jesus. On Easter, he shows us he can change death into glorious resurrection, and God can transform our lives too. We can take whatever is bitter, anxious, terrible, selfish, or hateful in our own lives and lay it in the tomb with Jesus and the love of God will change it for us. As he told us in the Old Testament, we may not know the plans God has for us, but he will give us a future of hope. Dear God, let me never forget how amazing and powerful you are. You can conquer death. You can conquer whatever seems wrong, lifeless, or sad in my own life, too. Thank you for that great hope, dear Lord. Virgin of all virgins, blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share thy grief divine. I told you at the start, my other self, my life was not complete until I crowned it by my death. Your way is not complete unless you crown it by your life. Accept each moment as it comes to you with faith and trust that all that happens has my mark on it, a simple fiat that is all it takes, a breathing in your heart I will it, Lord. So seek me not in far off places. I'm close at hand. Your workbench, office, kitchen, these are altars where you offer love. And I am with you there. Go now, take up your cross, and with your life, complete your way. It is ever so appropriate that at the end of the Stations of the Cross, we pray in our Father, a Hail Mary, and a Glory Be for the Pope's intentions. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of, full of grace, grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.